Hey everybody, today is Saturday, November 19th, 2022, and we're here at a very, very cold, very chilly, very windy Allentown Fairgrounds. Look at that amazing exit sign. That is so incredibly cool looking. This place actually dates back to 1852. It has been around for a good, long, long time. I'm actually being joined today by John and Chris over here. This is pretty awesome. We actually just got back from the, um, right, right across from here, there's a like an agricultural center thing. I don't know. They were having a really awesome, super gigantic, was it super gigantic, was it yard sale? Garage, or sale. garage sale. Super gigantic garage sale. If you guys actually want to go see that video, head over to my other channel, Cinema Sickness, where I do daily thrifting videos. That, that'll be up in a couple of days from now, probably. But found a lot of awesome stuff over there. But we decided to come over here because I had to check out what is over here. This is amazing. Look at this old, very, very old grandstand. Look at that. When does this date back to? I have no idea. I don't think this actually dates back to the 1800s, but it is quite, I mean, it might. This has got to be, I'm thinking early 1900s, right? Oh, yeah. Look, right look, at, look at this, look at this thing. Look at that. I just had to come over here and take a look at this. John's taking pictures. This is too cool. Apparently they actually do still have shows and events out here. There's a big field over there. They do like kind of like all kinds of stuff in. The funnel cake place is closed. <laughs> oh, no funnel cake, cool. no lemonade I'll today. Get in there and make some. But apparently, from what I've been told by friends who have come out here to see shows, I guess they still do, maybe the bands play there or something. I have no idea, but apparently they do still do concerts out here at the fairgrounds. Could you imagine watching something in this stand? I mean, that is so cool. Reminds me of an old baseball stadium. That is just too awesome. We're actually gonna go walk up into it. I don't know if they're gonna mind or not. I have no idea. Look at the trash cans or whatever these are. These, no, they're not even trash cans. They're just, they're just barrels. How much echo do you think this has? Echo. You're saying? Echo. Hold on to the street Wait, what, what was that? Streetlight people. <laughs> so anyway, I was putting out the, the interesting drums here. They're not trash cans, they're just drums with with cow print on it, which is sort of weird and bizarre. This is actually, again, really awesome. I wanna go like, I wanna see, I, I wanna know what's like in, in down under, under there. Look at that, there's all these weird like, I don't, I don't even know, I don't even know what that is. That's pretty awesome. I don't know if you can actually go down underneath these. It looks like you probably can. It looks like maybe there's something underneath the, the stands here, but we're gonna go up into the stands. Cause I wanna, I wanna see this. This is pretty awesome. Look at that. If anybody out there knows when this dates back to, leave a comment down below. I tried looking up some information. Wikipedia just said when this, when the actual fairgrounds dated back to, did not state when the actual specific things were built. You're about to see me get very, very winded now because I'm gonna walk to the top of this. Why? I have no idea. It's also extremely, extremely cold. It's like 30 degrees out right now. So I'm quite winded, quite cold. Oh my gosh, look at these. These have gotta be like original chairs. Look at those. How cool is that? Like these plastic ones are obviously newer. These wooden ones that are way up here on top, these, I'm assuming these are original chairs of the stadium. Those are too cool. I really wish I knew when this dated back to. Whew. Walking upstairs. So this is the most exercise I've done in months. And we have, we have me, you can see my breath. We have made it. Look at the old arches here. They've been cinder blocked in for some reason. That is too cool. Uh, hey! Why are you doing up there? Causing trouble. This is just, again, too amazing, too cool. The, the brickwork here is amazing as well. I really want to know when these arches, like, I want to know when this dates back to. Like, could you actually, I'm trying to see, like, I see light peeking through the cracks. So my assumption that these were just open arches at one point that probably looked out onto the street, which is pretty neat. I don't know if this has fallen down or I don't know what this is about. This is so cool though. Again, these old chairs here that I'm assuming date back to whenever this was built. Probably, again, my assumption is early 1900s is what this looks like. I would say 1920s, 1930s, probably. I would, I would say 30s, maybe. That's my guess. If I, had to, if I had to make an educated guess, I would say 1930s is probably when this was built. So you can see the stage down there. Well, they apparently still do concerts out here. I've never seen a concert out here. But I've had friends who have been to concerts out here. This is like an old, it was an old cup holder at first. 
I think it's just the way, the way they're designed. I bet you though, I, I bet you over the years, somebody has put a, a cup in there at one point. Yeah, this is, this is too cool. So interesting. Look at that, just look at that. That has gotta be a thumbnail right there. That is just, just amazing. I love old architecture. This is why I love going to old baseball stadiums. I'm not, I'm not some big baseball fan. I don't mind baseball. I, I, I enjoy a baseball game every now and then. But when you go to like an old stadium that looks like this, it's just, it's just too cool. I think there's only glass, well, a glass wall over there. Yeah, the, you see the wall over there is glass. For some reason over there, it's been like painted in. Don't know why. Oh my gosh, it is so incredibly cold out right now. Right now, like I said. Built in the 1930s, probably, and definitely degrees wise in the 30s right now. It is so cold out my hand. It's officially being frozen to my camera right now, but it's worth it because I really want to come over here and check this out. When we parked, I kind of figured, okay, this is where I'm going to be filming my retro rest stop video for today because I, I just had to see this amazing stadium. Could you imagine all the shows that have happened out here? in a field over the years. They said they used to do like horse shows and stuff out here back in the day. And I think if I'm not mistaken, this is an old racetrack. You can see how it's, it's banked. That curve right there, it goes around and it's banked. So I'm thinking at one point, they actually used to do racing out here as well, which is pretty awesome. Don't know what kind of racing. I don't think it was like stock cars, maybe. I have no idea. Who, who knows what kind of racing they did out here. There are actually lots of race, uh, raceways in this area back in the day. It looks like this was one as well. No longer though. Too cool. Supposedly also at one point back during World War II, they did ambulance training out here. I guess the, the government kind of took over the field and they did ambulance training out here, which is pretty neat. So some World War II history also involved in the fairgrounds. This is awesome. I wonder where everybody, everybody went. Where did my friends go? I have no idea. I feel like I'm out here all alone now. They were probably smart. They probably went back to the car. I'm out here. I'm out here alone. My friends, my friends have disappeared. Again, they were probably smart. They probably went inside somewhere because they realized it's four degrees out here. It's way too cold. There they are. They're hiding from me. I thought they were smart and went back inside, which would have been the smart thing to do because it's so, it's so incredibly cold right now. Look at the old concession stand there. How cool is that? All right, guys, this is the Allentown Fairgrounds. Pretty awesome. If you've actually ever been out here, if you've ever come out here to a concert, or you witnessed one of the horse shows, or you were out here back when they used to do, I'm guessing, some kind of racing, what kind of racing do they used to do out here? If you know, leave a comment down below. But if you've ever actually been out here and witnessed like, any kind of show out here, leave a comment down below. Let me know what show you've, you've seen, what bands you've seen, what racing you've seen, what shows you've seen. What do you guys think of this place? It's awesome. Oh. Cold. Yeah, but I, awesome. I, I mean, it's 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 very cool. It is extremely. Cool it is extremely. It is, this is an extremely cool place right now. You guys are at least wearing like somewhat normal jackets. I got, I got this jacket that does that does the the jacket. It does nothing. Oh, <laughs> so this jacket's like not keeping me warm at all. Even, even though I do have a I do have actually an actual winter like peat coat in the car. I probably should have put that on. That would have made a heck of a lot more sense. All right, guys, I just want to bring you out here to the out town fairgrounds because it's, it's cool. It's awesome. It is literally cool. It's a cool place. Check it out when it's warm both, out. Yeah. <laughs> both figuratively and literally, it is a really, really awesome place. If you're into old architecture, this is definitely a place to come check out. But all right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go because, again, I am freezing right now. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you guys do subscribe, or I should say, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I'll say, check down below for links. I'm so cold. My brain is just, it's, it's I think, I'm pretty sure my brain is actually frozen inside my head right now. Yeah, nice picking. Yeah, anyway, right. check down below, like I said, for all the different links. Check down below, below for a link to, to, link to Patreon. Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month. For, look at me, see my breath. I, I, will, was I, I, was, I was frozen today. <laughs> I will send you a postcard every single month for the road if you guys to become a patron. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro red stop t-shirts. Proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. You can help putting gas in Vanabelle and inside pumpkins so we can come out to interesting places like this. Oh my gosh. Oh, on this very, on this very, very cold day. Also check down below for links too. And check down below for a link too. Love stuff.
All right. I need a mind hug. I'm gonna get it off sniffly. It's, it's, it's a silicone. All right, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. So like I said, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you guys do subscribe or you are subscribed, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. I can't feel my hand now. I, I think I literally got frostbite from this video. All right. See you guys next video. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.